What's up? What's poppin' report card video? Welcome back to the home of entertainment commentary, the most deepest, precious, illest entertainment commentary ever. <laughs> when I say ever, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Make sure that you smash the subscribe button, hit notifications that you don't miss when we post and upload. Let's get started. So, have this time of better. First of all, we don't understand. Who? Who? Ah, Misa! Ah, Misa, Misa, Misa. You know when you're told upgrade your standards, don't be basic now. We need to read that script from Hobisa Mobero Bank. Let me tell you, Hobisa, first of all, is not first time in recross. As if <laughs> Oh, you know, you know when when you're oh, you're just a basic girl and then you level up. And people, you, you're looking at someone and you're thinking, this, it's either this recrossing standards are very basic, or Hamisa has just, she has leveled that playing field and she knows whatever it is she wants and she's going for it. And she's like, I'm not going to play, you know, this small, I'm done playing small. I'm done playing small now. So look at her with recross. First time in, and then you remember when we cross told us that Hamisa Mobeto and I actually have a con we have a connection. Hamisa and I have a connection. You, I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah. So he came out told us that, and he's like, mm, "You, you need to ask her. You need to ask about the connection. We don't need to ask her anything, Rose. If you are smashing us, you just say I'm smashing her. Point blank, period. If you're trying to make her your baby's mama, you just tell us that." If you're trying to work with her on different levels and different capacities, do that and just tell us that is why Hamisa Mobeto is one of my home girls. Because you see, it was like, you know, I'm proud of her. She's super, um, she's a go getter. She's super independent. She's doing this. And then now, casually, Hamisa and Rick Ross are here first time. And one thing we have to say we thank God for. It's because Hamisa Mobeto's English is not bastard. So probably there is there's some communication. Can you imagine if Hamisa didn't even speak basic English to save her life? Oh, how will this have gone? So anywho, anywho, this Tanzanian hands are on flames. Hey, hey, hey. Mude, then again, there's Mobero here. So anywho, as I'm saying, so that was one. And guys are like, yo, Han, you've really upgraded your standards. You're not... You're not, you're not that baby mama who used to wear some weird ass looking hair, crying for diamond, telling diamond, please take me back, be my shooty, be my everything. It's not like that. So she gets on stage with Fali Ipupa. I think this was a concert, it was a Fali Ipupa concert in Tanzania. And I'm telling you, the babe, the babe, just look at this. <laughs> Watch this video, then come back and let's discuss. For yourself who first hand you've seen for yourself for first hand how this hand managed to bang them with platinum for 11 years and just keep that whole thing under wraps did you see how she was eyeing fali ipupa ah! Ah! he was like fali you and i are not mates you and i are not age mates fali love on me fali touch me guys <laughs> i'm not Listen, see when you're lady, I'm just saying what we saw. Fali, take me. Fali this. Fali, you know, that kind of, that kind of vibe, like, uh, like, rah. And then, Fali had to shut her little pass down, because I think it's like, you know, Fali, stop playing with me. Like, who does, who does this? If men in Tanzania are used to women spraying their money, I am not that man. Respect me. I'm a Congolese man. See, you do not pay our total pesa. I to pay our pesa. You know, shut that thing down. They told, they told like, okay, give it up to this beautiful woman. Because I think Ahamisa's energy, she was too bele bele, very. I don't know what to say. You know that thing where you look at someone and you're like, there's some sudden vibe here that I really don't understand that this hand is bringing. That is making me slightly or borderline uncomfortable. That's what was happening. And Fali was just like, ah, 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 some pens, pens, to here, to here, to here. So they start dancing. And it's very apparent that Hamisa Mobeto wants to grind all this mandingo. She wanted to do this. You guys can't see, but my list is moving down here. So this is why I'm like, 
like this. Like, you know, I just want to touch what she got. And then Fali kept backing it up. Backing it up. And is like, let me keep... Fali is doing this. Let me get you. Baby, let me grind on you. Fali and her song. Let me just show you what my mama gets. Fali does not want it, so... Until finally, I think Hamisa got the phone and she's like, yeah, you know, it's just entertainment. Hey, mom, I love it here. I love it here. And just as I say, guys, the ones who lost those were shameless. The ones who are shameless at the end of the day get the trophy, they get to dance with Fali, they get to try and spray Fali 50 shillings worth of money, and then Fali was like, stop me. I'm not the one. Who, who told you I want you to spray me with your little five bob? But, however, oh, let's just like long and short. Oh, uh, in all long story short. Truth is, Harissa Kubito is doing something that I think most of these people could not even think of doing. Like she has Amanda, you know she's on different levels where you're like, this babe was just here the other day, like she was just here looking like some other person. Then now look at her face, time in a kinabi cross, you know, going on stage, I finally, people like I'm ready to be a groupie, I'm ready to be your groupie, you know, in the next, like once this show is over, me I'm not going to follow you backstage, sir. I followed you on stage so that you know I'm ready to be your groupie, eh, Fali. Fali was like, fam, I don't know if this is what Tanzanian men allow their women to do to them. Mwanamuki anakupa pesa lafu we unachukua. Mimi siyo mutanzania. Mimi mukongo. Put your little wallet away, baby. Don't put that pasa. Fuga ito kibeti yako, ewe. Unafungaka yo kibetu. Unanipea mimi nini? Eh? Unatuza. You know, like, stop, dog. I'm, 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 I'm a dog. Oh, well, these men don't do this kind of shit. And then Hamisa was trying to, like, grind. Legit. She was trying to grind on, on, on Fali. Like, say, let's give it up to this beautiful woman. Let's come and dance. She's, like, trying to push her ass on Fali's mandingo. Fali's like, eh? Eh? Hamisa is coming? Eh? <laughs> I'm not putting it for her. But the thing is, if we are reading from this script, the world belongs to those who are shameless. So Tiwa Savage is on tour. She went to the Angie Martinez show and she revealed Tiwa, yeah, from Nigeria. She revealed that someone has just leaked out a sex tape. And the sex tape is starring none other than herself and her current boyfriend slash lover. When they were in the heat of things, I think they decided to record themselves. Now, I'm not even going to blame Tiwa Savage for deciding to take the camera and to get raunchy. Because you know, there's a thing, there's just some, yeah, there's something that just, uh, listen up. <laughs> it's like uh, maybe a soft fetish or something like that. And it just makes some people feel like, you know, if we record and then we watch after, we're probably going to jack off to our own selves doing these things. Or I, I don't know. Or just the thrill that the camera is there and we are recording ourselves being having, having sex, like porn stars or something. So, anywho, this is what she said. So, listen to these tapes and then come back and let's discuss. Yesterday, I um, I was leaving a radio station. I'm in my car. My road manager sends me a message. He's like, yo, check your, check your phone. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I check it and there's a video. And I'm just like, whoa. I'm like, where did you get this from? And he's like, I just got it like 20 minutes ago. And This is somebody on your team? Yeah. This, so this video was sent to him. Mm -hmm. And it's a tape of me and the person I'm dating right now. Yeah. Oh my and God, then, and then, I'm so sorry. I know, I know. But and you're in the middle of, like, crisis right now. So, so I mean, the, you seem very, like, calm and okay, but... Yeah, because I, I, like... So I said... To, I, the first thing, I got off the phone and I, I sent it to my manager and she was like, oh my God. And, I, and I'm like, what are we going to do? So the person's asking for money now. Of course. So... Is it the person you were dating? No, 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 no. no, no. no. And he's going crazy too. So I'm like what are we going to do? And my manager's like, 
well, how much are they asking for? So I woke up and I was like, no, I'm not. Because I pay it now and then two months down the line, you're yeah. going to come back again and then two years. And then who knows, even if I do send you the money, you probably would release it anyway. Like yeah. the fact that I'm not going to allow anyone to blackmail me for doing something that is natural. So here's the thing that I personally, I think like at the end of the day, this may be saying that my current lover has no idea who licked the tapes. I didn't lick the tapes. So whoever has them probably hacked into whichever thing, maybe it was, it was, it was they were using the phones to record or they were using the camera to record. But in actual sense, listen, if it's just the two of us, in a room and we decide to switch on the cameras get around in front of the cameras if i decide to 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 take nudes and to send them to a particular partner that's why you need to know you need to trust to to track and to trace who exactly you're sending these things out to because once those things just come back you you're in a position to trace them so the thing is when tiwa said that she has no idea who leaked the tape if it's the two of you and he, he knew that you were recording, you knew you were recording, don't you sort of feel like maybe this was like a soft setup? Tiwa. Honest, because who would have caught wind of the fact that maybe y'all are doing this recording business? And then that's just what I'm trying to. I just trying to figure that out. Because if it's you and I in a room and we are recording, guys, guys. No, Tiwa Savage has a stick step because I was not in the room with Tiwa Savage. Maybe even like the road manager, and then they send it to the road manager. However, that is savage, cruel, heartless, you know, blackmailer. See your life. Tiwa, in fact, she, she did well when she said, I, I don't give a damn. Like, click it. What, what, is so, what is so special about watching someone having sex now? There is nothing, honestly, they'll blackmail. It's just like maybe the after ripple effect with the family members and whatnot. But eventually, those things are usually forgotten and you move on with your life. You hide for like two, three hours in your day and then you just come out and you're like, screw it, you see? And the fact that she's already talked about it on a national platform, I think she has managed to decapitate whoever that is that is trying to extort money from her. Because you see, this is how these things work. Someone tries to extort you, this month they tell you send me this money then you do send me this money then you do send me this money then you do then eventually like once you like the, the bright green the bright green never stops the extortion never stops and then end goal is usually after they've done all of that they'll still lick the thing so you just better tell them release let me deal with it right now let me you know and and i think people think it's like some type of some type of soft punishment but if you follow up, I don't know if Nigeria has that uh, porn, like cyber, cyber porn law, where you leak something like that out, I can sue you and I'll have the last laugh at the end of the day. So fun. Um, just don't, don't sweat the little things. Don't panic over nothing. Don't be that person as in, but at the end of the day, what I'm simply trying to say is the snakes are usually in your comb. Snakes are just usually like in your compound, yeah. Our in Bali, it's just usually something that you can trace and say, hmm, see your life. It is you who lit the tape. Because if it's you and I, she needs to start asking herself, then who the fuck licked that tape out? Who had knowledge that they were even in a room somewhere recording themselves getting jiggy with it? Who? Tiwa? Tiwa who? Tiwa now? Put the grass in your corn, make it very short so you can decapitate anybody who's trying to come at you, la 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 la, talking all that nonsense. So, anyway, all the best to her, but I think that's a very good decision that she's made. That either way, in the Vilitaenda, she's not paying a single cent as it should be. Yes, as it should be. All right, so Tanasha Donna has gone back home. You Anyway, she's gone back home and you know, you know, you remember when you say that, you know, she prepared doing, be, being a video vixen for Damo Platinums. She's like, can we go back to Akina Ali Keeper's camp, which I am not sure 
if Ali Kipa's scam is now paying more for her to be a vixen. But me, I even thought this babe. I thought this. Oh, no way. They said it's a collab. They said it's a collab video between herself and Tommy Flavor. Oh, but now she's gone back to just being a video vixen. If that's what my name is, baby, a video vixen, I can't wait to ambush. Really, when you point your mama to go to get more compound, Papa, last time I've just taken them all. I'm taking them, I'm taking it back. No. Let's hope that she's part of that song and she was there to shoot that video with Tommy Flavor. Let it not just be that they featured her as a video vixen. Because you see, when guys saw her there and they saw Ali Kiba, they were like probably Ali Kiba and Tanasha Donna are smashing. Maybe they smashed, maybe they did. But not now. I don't think, ah, I don't think Ali Kiba is, ah, no, no fam, no. But anyway, bottom line is, hopefully it's a song uh, that she's releasing a song between herself and one of those artists. Signed under King Records, King Kiba Records, yes, King Kiba, signed under King Kiba Records, Tommy Flavor, so I think they have a song together or something like that, and she's like, I'm here to shoot a musical video, I want to take my music to the next brand, alright mommy, alright, so I am curious to know, did Ali Kiba pay her more than what that damn Platinum's did, hmm. You know, for her to agree to this type of deal, was she paid more? Hmm. But does Alikiba have all that money to pay? Or someone was behind Aliki? Okay, anyway, listen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even one to. I'm not, I'm not trying to juggle my brain over nothing. But everyone who thought that Alikiba and Tanasha Donna are in Zanzibar smashing. Pauline, give us more evidence. Right, for right now, as far as we are concerned, it's just about the music video. I didn't even have time to go see them. Oh, Platinum's family. You're going to see them as who? Oh, but what? Who are they to you? Who are they to you? You have the right to go in and out of that car. Those are not your in-laws. They are nobody. Like you and them, you have no relation or no coloration. Like there is nothing that is tying you. What do we say? It's by, you're bound at the hips. There's nothing that's binding you at the hips. So um, you are free. Can go in, go out of that country. You can even go to their next door neighbor, sleep there, and you will not feel entitled to going in and saying hi to those people because they are not your family. They are not your family. I'm correlated in any way. Subscribe if you've not hit notifications so you don't miss any post and upload. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. See you again in the next video.